Hi, I'm Giovanna Shrestha. I created the Urban Wildlife Conservation Network to show people the many ways to get involved in conservation. And one of these ways is through citizen science. This is when researchers turn to the public for help with projects and an opportunity to provide meaningful data and contribute to science. This videography series aims to highlight opportunities to get involved in conservation and research through citizen science. The first video is on the Edmonton Urban Coyote Project here in Alberta. This project uses data through reported coyote sightings from the public to fuel research projects to prevent human-wildlife conflict with coyotes. Citizen science has been defined in a lot of different ways and some people now prefer the term community science. But basically, it involves inviting members of the public, any member of the public, to participate in science, collecting data usually, but sometimes also um, compiling data, even analyzing data, and contributing to the scientific process. I started the Edmonton Urban Coyote Project in 2009. At that time I had noticed that coyotes were being seen in Edmonton more often. People were complaining about them and that was happening in cities across North America. So I was interested in studying the contributions to what people perceived as conflict with coyotes. If we understood those contributions I thought we could recommend some things to minimize them and increase coexistence with urban coyotes. Over the years, several graduate students have worked on this project and many of them have invited the public to participate in their science. Um, one of the core ways that we do that is through a reporting website where people can log their observations or even their encounters with coyotes, describe the date, the time, the place where it occurred, but also offer comments about what they noticed about the coyotes, how the coyotes responded to them, how they felt and so on. We use these data in a, a bunch of different ways. One of the things we do in our collaboration with the City of Edmonton is alert our colleagues there if we receive reports of a really highly aggressive behavior of the sort that should have some kind of intervention. We also just summarize these data. Um, Jonathan Farr led a, a project doing that. In the context of a big city like Edmonton, what you essentially have is a whole network of people who are encountering coyotes or seeing coyotes potentially on a daily basis. And so citizen science or community-led science in this case provided us with the Edmonton Urban Coyote Project, a large-scale 10-year analysis of human coyote coexistence across the city of Edmonton based on over 9,000 public reports of coyote sightings and encounters that people had reported to the Edmonton Urban Coyote Project website. And what this let us see was in the data that people were correct that human wildlife conflict between people and coyotes had been increasing in Edmonton over the last 10 years. We saw a 2% annual increase in bold coyote behavior towards people and a similar increase in people's level of concern towards coyotes. Hi, uh, my name is Abby Keller. I am a master's student in the St. Clair Lab at the University of Alberta, and I'm working on the Edmonton Urban Coyote Project. So previous work in the lab has shown that coyotes eat quite a bit of bird seed, especially uh, between uh, residential and natural areas in Edmonton. Uh, these are factors that oftentimes contribute to human coyote conflict. So what I'm hoping to do is to find uh, folks who will allow me to uh, use their yards. Um, I'm targeting yards that back directly onto natural areas uh, without a fence or anything like that, uh, who feed birds to um, basically study how coyotes are using bird seed and how often they're using them. And then I want to also look at management of bird seed as an attractant. And we'd like to see if that can help uh, reduce coyote and other mammal activity underneath bird feeders in residential yards. and citizen science is changing the way science is done around the world. It's so great to have these contributions by the public. They are making our science better and they're also making science uh, a more accessible to more people. More people can live an evidence-based set of decisions in their life and, and that makes the city a better place for everyone. <laughs>